The occlusal rest seat has a rounded triangular form from the occlusal view. From a proximal view, the most critical aspect is that the marginal ridge is reduced to provide 1.5 millimeters of clearance from the opposing tooth. The easiest way to ensure that you have sufficient reduction of the marginal ridge is to place your burr on the side of the marginal ridge with a tip 1.5 millimeters below the ridge itself. We'll begin this preparation without water so that you can see the outline of the preparation more clearly on the high contrast surface of the tooth. Clinically, you don't want to see any burn marks on natural teeth. Use your diamond burr cleaner to avoid this. Start your preparation in the mid-proximal surface and move your burr inward toward the nearest fossa on the occlusal surface, in this case, the mesial fossa. Do not widen the preparation at this point yet. As you prepare your rest seat, continue to move the burr slightly upwards or away from the tooth to avoid producing an undercut lip. If you only move your round burr laterally, you will create an undercut like you see here. Your rest seat must draw with your path of insertion. Once you've established the initial depth of your preparation, begin to widen the area at the proximal surface to create the wider base of the triangular rest seat. This is necessary for bulk to ensure that the metal rest has sufficient strength to prevent fracture where it joins the minor connector. Remember that you want to continue to widen the base of the rest seat at the marginal ridge until it is approximately one-third of the buccolingual width of the tooth, whether that's a molar or a premolar. The procedure for the premolar occlusal rest seat is similar. First, reduce the marginal ridge and fossa area, then widen the marginal ridge area, and finally, deepen the central portion of the rest seat to ensure the rest seat is positive. By positive, we mean that the central apex of the rest seat is the deepest aspect of the rest. An explorer placed in this apex should not easily slide from the rest seat. This ensures that the rest placed into the rest seat will remain in contact with the tooth. When you're finished, your proximal occlusal rest seat should look like those that are outlined here with red pencil. There are variations in the shape of various occlusal rest seats, but the rounded triangular form, the deeper central preparation, and the reduction to create 1.5 millimeters clearance are common to all occlusal rest seats.